Hello friends, in this video I would like to solve the following problem from the Romanian National Mathematical Olympiad for 9th graders 2022 problem number 1, the very first question on this test. Let a and b be positive integers. We wish to prove that the equation, quadratic equation x squared plus a plus b squared times x plus 4ab equals 1 has a rational solution if and only if a equals b. So, here are my hints for this problem. First, suppose that a is not equal b, let the delta be the, the quadratic discriminant of our uh, quadratic polynomial, and basically show that, well, our equation has a rational solution if and only if delta is a perfect square, and uh, show that uh, delta can be squeezed between these two integers, these two squares, it's strictly greater than a plus b squared minus 2 squared, and this is less than a plus b squared squared. And also show that, well, the only perfect square between these two numbers is a plus b squared minus 1 everything squared. Show that this is not possible for delta to be this number. Which means that if a is not b, well, delta is not a perfect integer, and in case when a equals b, just factorize the quadratic polynomial, and you will get a rational solution. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so, suppose, let's suppose, let's suppose first that a is not equal b. And let delta be the quadratic discriminant of the following polynomial x squared plus a plus b squared x plus 4ab minus 1. Well, fortunately, we have an explicit formula for a quadratic discriminant. So delta, it's a plus b squared squared, so to the fourth power, minus 4ab four, four minus 1. So it's a plus b to the fourth power, minus 16ab plus 4. And now let's notice that our equation has a rational solution if and only if delta is a perfect square a perfect if and only if it is a perfect square all right, pretty easy to see that by the quadratic formula. But now I will do the following two things. I claim, my first claim, claim number one, I claim the following two inequalities. The delta is strictly less than a squared, a plus b squared, squared, and it's strictly greater than a plus b squared minus two squared. It's my first claim. Let's prove it. Prove it. Proof. Well, the second part is pretty easy to see. So let's start with the first part. Mm. So let's call this part asterisk, double asterisk. Well, asterisk is equivalent to saying that a plus b to the fourth power minus 4a plus b squared plus 4 strictly less than a plus b to the fourth power minus 16 a b plus 4. This is equivalent to saying, notice that we can do the following cancellation, uh, and also 4 cancels, and also we can divide by minus 4. So it's equivalent to saying that a plus b squared is greater than 4 a b, so a squared, 2ab, b squared, greater than 4ab. 
So it's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared greater than 0. And this is equivalent to this condition. Notice that this holds because we are supposing that a is not equal b. It holds because a is not equal b. So this is true. What about the second inequality? Second inequality says that a plus b to the fourth power minus 16ab plus 4 is less than a plus b to the fourth power. Again, obvious cancellation. And we have 1 is less than 4ab. And notice that this is true because a and b are supposed to be positive integers. So it holds because a and b are supposed to be positive integers. So this proves my first claim. All right. My second claim. My second claim is that our quadratic discriminant is not equal to a plus b squared minus 1 squared. Let's prove my second claim. Proof. Well, it is pretty easy to see because quadratic discriminant is a plus b to the fourth power minus 16ab plus 4. Well, this is not equal to a plus b to the fourth power minus 2a plus b squared plus 1. Some cancellations are going on once again. And we have the following right now that minus 16ab plus 4 is not equal to... And we can also add... This is not equal 1. Notice that this is of course true because the left hand side is even and the right hand side is odd. It holds because 2 divides the left hand side while it does not divide the right hand side. And this closes the proof of my second claim. And immediate corollary of these two claims is that, well, delta is not a perfect square. It's not a perfect square. How do I know it? Well, notice that these two numbers are squares. Uh, not two consecutive squares, but we have a perfect square, one perfect square between these two numbers, and this perfect square. So delta, the only possibility for delta to be a perfect square is that it should be equal a plus b squared minus 1 squared. But by claim number 2, it is not. So it is not a perfect square, and this implies that if a is not equal b, then our equation does not have a rational solution. All right, but what about when a equals b? Notice that suppose now Let's now suppose that a equals b. And notice that then we can just factorize everything. We have x squared plus a plus b squared times x plus 4ab minus 1. If I am not mistaken, let me look. Yes, it is. Notice that if a equals b, I have x squared plus 4a squared x plus 4a squared minus 1, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. 
Is everything right? Yes, probably is. And now, what can we do? What can we do? Notice that we can combine these two terms. x squared minus 1. It's x minus 1. x plus 1. And we can also combine these two terms together. So we have plus 4a squared, x plus 1. And now we see a common factor. So we have x plus 1. And we also have x plus 4a squared minus 1. So we have two roots. Roots. x is minus 1. And second root, x is minus 1 minus 4a squared. Well, both of, them, both of them are rational. So this really closes our proof. So, yes, very, very nice problem. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.